Hello guys, welcome to Precision RCA workshop. Uh, in this RCA workshop, uh, we are working on the newspaper winding road barring problems. Uh, newspaper winding road barring problem is chronic problem, which is a headache for industrial for long times. And this problem can come quickly and then go without any reasons. And uh, all industry people try their best, but there still is a uh, a chronic province for us. So here, uh, let's looking at uh, the winding uh, barring problem system first. So the case we study here is for the newspaper, and they have four uh, winder roller here. You can see from the, the top one join here. The, the, de the design of this one is uh, the speed is 1200 meters per minute. So it's a very fast machine, newspaper machine. And the widest of the road is about 9 meters. The expected uh, of this one is winding definitely. We don't want any like barring. If not any barring happened, we have to recycle the newspaper again. And uh, it's cut down a lot of availabilities. So actually, this barring is frequently occurring over there. And even like uh, I look in history, it started from 2004. I check uh, the condition monitoring data. We do have vibration barring over there. And uh, on the second uh, uh, picture here, we show when the barring happened, what kind of vibration look like, right? And uh, the gap here is that the, this paper machine had been shut down at two or three hours. And uh, we have to adjust uh, our set over there and also adjust uh, the hydraulic loading, uh, try to avoid the barring problems. Sometimes we're lucky, sometimes unlucky, uh, sometimes it's just uh, disappeared, sometimes still uh, there. And uh, each hour shut down because this means about nine thousand million dollars per hour profit, uh, about like eight million profit loss annually. So let's do the quick uh, uh, root cause analyze here. Uh, we built uh, a barring mechanic and model here. So we we use the basic of uh, basic of the exciting exciting uh, vibration model here. Uh, row as the mass over there. Paper used as the string and also a damping as well here. So from this modeling, we can uh, find the uh, for the modeling, uh, that, that the, the total force get the equation. From these equations, we can use, we can get this, uh, uh, the performance of the curve. So for this performance curve, we can find that how to avoid the barring problem here. The barring actually is just a resonance of the systems at the, the natural frequency here, right? So from the, our study, it's easy to find out the root cause here. So the root cause majorly is coming from the three uh, major causes here. One is exciting force. It could be higher than the design. And if too much higher exciting force, definitely it be excited the systems and also the amplitude of the vibration will be high as well. Second reason the root cause here is the damping of the paper could be not enough over there, right? So from our study, we found that the damping factor can be reduced from 0.5 or 0.6 to less than 0.1, or even like uh, almost nothing. So when you don't have any, no like uh, too much damping here, definitely uh, vibration or uh, barring problems will be happen automatically, right? And third one is uh, the system working frequency is very close to the natural frequency of the of this. Uh, winding system here. But also remember, uh, in our study, we just are looking at the one simple model here. But for our like roller systems, here is a four roller system here. So it, you do have uh, at least four natural frequency here. So this is the reason why sometimes the overset, sometimes working, sometimes not working. Well, you move the frequency to one side, it can be set another natural frequency over here, right? Our recomposition here is definitely easy now uh, to reduce the exciting force to as low as possible. 
And the second day is to increase the damping as much as possible. If you have high dampings, definitely the aptitude of the vibration will be reduced automatically here, right? The third one is just shifting the vocal frequency, uh, frequency here away from resonance, no natural frequency, FM, as far as possible. Uh, but in our system here, sometimes it's not easy to shifting these uh, frequencies because we don't know, we don't know which direction we should go to. Sometimes if you go to the wrong directions, you can be make uh, the vibration even worse. So I think a lot of the pre-workers, we are focused on this shifting, like uh, the frequent shiftings, but not get a good result. This is the reason why. So action here, uh, we take uh, four action here. Actually, like uh, the last action is that we took the alignment every time we should shut down here. So actually we just do like uh, three action here. Number one is regrinding the row over there. Uh, this regrinding is just not only the radius uh, side, but also axial side. So, uh, second uh, action we do is redesign the holding pins for rollers. We also find that these holding pins can cause a lot of misalignment for our machine. Third one, we also calibration the paper thickness meters. But during the study, we found that the, the thickness meter reading is not correct. So it also uh, can bring us some exciting force for the paper row. So from here, you can see the row here, radial, radial like uh, tolerance, and after regrinding, it's a perfect, right? And for axials here, on the third uh, picture here, you can see uh, the axials, axial tolerance is not so good, but after regrinding, it's a perfect. Yeah, it's almost like a straight line here. Let's look at the result now. So after we do this grinding, the paper, this wind rose never, never have any barring since uh, July 2007. And the barring never show up whatever the loading adjusted. Before, like any small adjustment for loadings, the barring would be happened without any like a notice, right? And the paper machine now runs so smoothly that uh, uh, the ear protection with no need at that time. Uh, before, without the ear protection, you cannot stand by there, right? And also, the, because the, the quality of the paper now is uh, improved a lot, so the three-liter machine speed also increased from 2,300 meters per minute to 2,600 meters per minute without the edge edge vibration chips. Uh, before we do this, we yeah, do a lot, lot of uh, high high vibration chips for the 3D machines. So every shift could be a dozen of chips. So it's really, really a headache for our operators. And from that day, operators were very, very happy about uh, what we had achieved. And every time I visit them, they have asked me, hey Richard, uh, could you tell me what now you're working on? What kind of improvements? I was so happy to tell them about what else, yeah. But, the result is very, very, very good. Everybody is happy about our result. So if you have any uh, barring problems, if you need help, you can contact me. Uh, my name is Colin Wen, or you can call me Richard Wen. I'm the director of the Precision RCA Consultant Limited. So we are focused on uh, the root cause analyze for a lot uh, of the chronic problems, for not just for the paper machines, mm -hmm also for other machines as well. So you also can email to me. Uh, my email address is uh, wenrichard2000 at gmail.com. Or if you're interested, you can visit uh, my company website, www.precisionrca.com. Thank you.